Hello and welcome. This is part two of the MVC Tutor demo. On the first demo, I show or oh, display the code on how to send updates from your own website to Twitter uh, using the MVC3 framework. Now, on this one, I'll go over the timeline, and as you'll see, it's very easy. So we'll log in first. Uh, this page should take us to the authorized. Twitter uh, website. So as you can see, ready to log in. We'll try this account, and you can customize your icon here or your application uh, name, uh, what it does, and other settings. So we'll hit sign in which should take us back to your site that you set up when you did the application setup and as you can see we need to still work on this but as a demo uh, the update text box is working <coughs> so as you can see I just did this one so we'll do hello YouTube try it out you can see it's working as expected we have a timeline it doesn't look like Twitter but it gives you the idea of how you can do this and obviously in its CSS work but I'm not gonna cover that but we will work on that but the idea is for this video is to show you on the timeline how you can do it and as you can see at the top of this page I have a parameter and this number is tied up with the screen name and you'll see how I'm using this number uh, to get the timeline for this specific user so we'll place this out and go back to the uh, code um, this has not changed since the first video uh, this is just a consumer key this is your application consumer key that you got from Twitter and this is my go back here this is pulling my database I have a table and I'm saving the users uh, token and token secret um, I'm saving it so I could pull it right away without uh, keeping it in a session so the timeline First of all, when we get when we log into Twitter, as you can see here, when you click login, we're telling Twitter to once it, the user uh, authenticates, send the user back to this URL. So on NBC, I have this action result right here, and this guy takes the A O O A A token and the verify and same as same code as the first video we're just authenticating with that here we're taking the access token and authenticate with that and from here what I'm doing is I'm checking uh, this user ID I'm checking this one against my table that I have on my SQL so I'm saying hey is the user ID already in my table? Now, if it's no, that means I don't have it. So this guy will return uh, equal to no. So since it's equal to no, what I'm doing here on the next section, I'm just saving that user settings. And as you can see, the most important one is the token, the user's token, and the token secret because you need these two to send uh, tweets or updates from your website. Now if the user decides to uh, deactivate your uh, application from their profile, you need to get a new token and uh, well, if they decide to come back to your application, you need this won't work. So, But this gives you the idea, if you don't have it, save it. So the next time, uh, you can use it in a different uh, action. Because after this, 
what I'm doing is sending the user back to a specific uh, action. So you can see re redirect to action because I don't want to send the user go back to this same thing and return view. I want to send this uh, the user to this action uh, to this controller and I'm sending in the URL uh, this value or this parameter on the URL so I'm gonna send to member home controller with the user ID so as you can see I got two members and members but one has an action or I take this verb that is get only get and one that is post so on the first video uh, I sh did show this code same the only difference is that I'm using is I was using a loop to grab this one from this uh, link but I found this that is way better than using the loop and that's all has changed from here but on this video the main uh, idea is to go over uh, the timeline so as you can see all you need to do is say I want an integer and it's an ID you can name it whatever but in this case it's gonna be ID and this has to match with this one ID so I'm pulling that value and the pitch goes here it's looking for an ID and from here as you can see I'm going into my database hey uh, give me the data from this user ID and here I have a class uh, we actually not uh, this class I made it up just to grab the username uh, and other things like the uh, tweets uh, timeline so in this class models are here as you can see I have a class it just have regular properties a username timeline number of tweets and my ID and the other properties I have a list of tweets my tweets and the number of tweets which I have not used my ID I never end up using so the only one I'm using on this video is this one my tweet list and what I'm doing here uh, once you initialize the object I'm doing the same thing with the list and as you can see it takes uh, a type of my tweet that's another class that I made just to for this demo and basically what it does is it only has a property text so whatever you update the status that's what it gets on this list so if you go back to the controller as you can see here I say after you authenticate uh, I want the status update and it's done into this enumerator and from there I just loop through and I initialize my object and I say okay give me the text decoded and after that on my custom object which I use in T for it as you can see here T say my twitter list dot add and it's taking a, uh, my tweets class type and after that once it's finished looping through my tweets all I'm doing is saying well I'm returning uh, my an object my tweet class and this guy is gonna carry over a username and the tweets a list of tweets now on the razor uh, view here at the top I have a strongly typed object so I have uh, the add model and then you pass your uh, project name namespace followed by models and then your class so I'm using this class this guy this class has everything that I need uh, so that's what you type over here at the top from there you can add now you can specify what you want to pull and as you can see you got access to your object or properties from your object your class so here I'm just saying 
Hi and whatever screen name it comes up. Uh, this is the character account using JavaScript. And as we go down the, uh, this line of code, uh, here's a few uh, CSS stuff that I was working on. Uh, but the main idea it's on this one timeline. So here on this timeline I have a for each loop. So as you can see it's pretty simple. Just loop through your list and then grab the text. So this list I'm grabbing going through this list and grabbing the text. Text comes from this object, my tweets text. So that's all what it's doing and as you can see I have a placeholder for the time. So the next thing you could do is do add a property and say I want the date, time. So you can say update update time. Something like that. And what you could do is go back to your class. Well, I'm not gonna go over this I'll just wait on the next video I'll add the time but the main idea on this one is just place your uh, your tweet updates over here so as you can see it's pretty uh, straightforward uh, when you go back here this is your timeline now the I'll go over how did I have two things going on at the same time, the text box and the timeline? Uh, all I did was open this up. As you can see, I have a, I'm using a HTML begin form from here all the way up here. And as you can see, uh, you can pass parameters here, so what kind of actions you want to take. But in this case, we're saying once this guy hits submit, that's submit is a post uh, form or post in this form so the controller uh, knows over here to when to go to the to this action result and when to go to the post result so as you can see here um, when you click update it goes to here it goes to the members action and it's, since we're posting data here we're grabbing the text from the user the ID from the users and we're sending send tweet uh, to Twitter and then we redirect to action and we're sending it to member or members and it won't go into this it will go into this get so it's pretty straightforward Hopefully this gives you an idea on how you can uh, tweet from your or update your your Twitter account from your own website. If you have any questions, uh, you can follow me at at follow me here. If you click on this link, it should take you to the page uh, where you can click follow. So from here you can follow me. If you have any questions, you can submit it. Or if you know my YouTube address, you can also follow me on that one or subscribe to it. Or you can go to the above and click on here on YouTube. It will take you to my channel and you know submit any questions you have. So thank you for watching.